everyone. Thank you, Isabel. So I like to study digital culture through the lens of language. And I've been doing this for quite a while. This is an internet artwork from 99. Uh, where I borrowed classic graphical user interface to tell the story of a traveler who searches for a lost treasure in a parallel world. Here I downgraded a computer monitor. On the goat skin, I uh, drew the web page from the second chapter of the Traveler's Journal. The lines of the frame converge into a vanishing point from which two arms come out, one holding a candle and the other a pearl. Um, here, with the help of my mother and four months, I uh, transferred the uh, source code from the Linux kernel to Orianza ribbon. It's over half a mile long. And the idea was to translate uh, practices from one domain to another, uh, hardware to hardware and software to a software. Um, I'm very interested in uh, the materiality of language. Here, I'm carving a love letter from the Traveler's Journal out of the wall. Imagine this on a ladder, you know, the top lines. And um, the love letter goes like this. Love letter 565 slash 34. Beloved, I found the key to extreme beauty, but not the keyhole. I tried it in all the holes of my body, but none seemed to fit. Yours forever, your sunset, sunrise forever yours. Yours forever, yours. So once the labor was done, I looked through the holes and dis discovered that the lights shining through created what appeared to be a new language. It was unexpected but very welcome uh, dimension to the work. Here I took the first line from the love letter and I designed it as a pendant. Currently, I'm, I wanted to bring the text to the body. And currently, I'm uh, forming a company called Ale Foundry to distribute this piece and allow people to actually insert their language, and we're going to uh, cast and make it beautiful like that. So uh, another, another interest of mine is uh, the, the way in which language operates borders and space on the internet, and um, uh, especially spoken languages. In this piece, I uh, created uh, the third chapter of the Traveler's Journal in three languages, in Hebrew, English, and Arabic, a troublesome threesome. And uh, I uh, invoked motifs and themes born in the Mid Middle East and Mediterranean into uh, these narratives. So for example, on the bottom left, you're seeing an updated uh, story. Um, I updated the story of Noah's Ark to include a back door for the unaccepted animals. I also followed the etym etymology of uh, words. This piece is made from the word lemon in 40 languages. In 40 languages, the word lemon sounds nearly identical. Lemon, limon, limau, remon. I cut the words out of rubber and glued them one by one to create this kind of lacy topographic design. And the work, work grew organically around uh, a poem by uh, the first line from a po the first line from a poem by Williams, Carlos Williams, called "Perfection." Finally, time. So another area of interest is the culture of time. For that, I developed software with uh, Sean Lawson that syncs video and audio with the computer clock. So the collage of moving image is um, synced, it chimes and rhymes in actual time. Uh, you're seeing here a screen capture from a work called Swing, uh, where I filmed my nephew in Israel swinging for a full hour. The, um, uh, shorter segments from this uh, footage is organized as uh, seconds, minutes, and hours in this time tum tunnel you're seeing in the middle. So while I'm being very worried about uh, that I might be damaging my nephew by challenging him to swing for a full hour, I, uh, my, his older brother and friends were uh, uh, keeping an eye on the second camera while discussing the political, uh, the, the, uh, the lack of peace with Syria and the scarcity of water uh, in Israel, which are cultural memes uh, that pass down from one generation to another. So to conclude, I find that my desire for a perfect universal order always collapses into the chaos of life. 
And as you know, this is when things get really interesting. Thank you.